Today I will share how I started to cross-dress, my personal journey. Since my teenage years, I have been attracted to masculinity. Although it can be challenging to define, I realized after much introspection that certain mannerisms, voices, expressions, and ways of thinking or behaving were particularly attractive to me. These seemed to follow a certain pattern that aligned with the general notion of masculinity. I was particularly drawn to men who exhibited this pattern. I noticed that guys with personalities that intrigued me often had bodies that were equally appealing. These guys were usually physically active and were tall, big, with toned, muscular bodies. I have always surrounded myself with straight masculine men as I felt sexually and mentally attracted to them. Having female friends was equally or more important, but I used to connect with them in a more psychological, emotional way. After a few drinks with my straight friends, I would engage in playful behavior, like grabbing their bulges and so on. Some of them were more open-minded, like that friend who would let me suck him off. This attraction led me to pursue sexual encounters with masculine, straight guys. One day, in a cruising area, I encountered a man who let me suck him off. He didn't reciprocate and wasn't interested in me in any other way besides my mouth and my ass. He was a big, deep-voiced, masculine guy who told me that he had a girlfriend and only came to the cruising area for some relief. He looked so masculine and straight. He embodied the essence of masculinity in every aspect of himself, every behavior, word, and mannerism. He showed no signs of being gay or feminine, but was the epitome of the alpha male. Would it be accurate to say that he was straight? Well, obviously he wasn't 100%, but he didn't feel identified as bisexual or gay either, as he felt attracted to femininity and women, mainly. Let's say he was a flexible, mostly straight guy. I noticed that those, presumably straight guys, didn't usually make the first move in the cruising park. Gay guys would quickly reach out to grope my bulge, whereas potentially straight ones would invitingly touch theirs to show me what was on offer. Over time, I learned that it was not always easy to find this kind of guy in cruising areas, so I started using dating apps. I created a female profile with no photos and was honest about my intentions, confessing I was a boy and asking the guy if he would let me suck him off. This often resulted in a positive response. The guys would ask me if I was smooth, if I had a beard, and if I was feminine in my mannerisms. They wanted pics of my ass and face in that order. They seemed to be more open to the idea of doing something with a guy, if that guy was feminine. However, dating apps soon started to verify identities through photos, so I had to step back. With the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, I was stuck at home and had a lot of time on my hands. I started using various dating apps, but my unverified profiles were quickly shut down. Then, I had an idea. Why not buy some makeup, a wig, and a dress on Amazon and take some photos? I did so, and it was a success. I took photos in lingerie. Wig and makeup on, my profile got verified and went live. I made it clear that I was a cross-dresser. My phone was buzzing like never before. Within a week, I received thousands of messages from different guys, which gave me a glimpse into the reality of being a woman and the overwhelming amount of desperate guys they have to deal with. This experience opened my eyes to the world of women and the sheer amount of men they can choose from. On the other hand, it became evident that the competition for the attention of a female is fierce for men. Whereas for women it was easy to have many guys, it was quite difficult for males to have female attention. Being an average cross-dresser, I was suddenly presented with a sea of men to choose from. Being an average guy, they first had little choice. Some men went above and beyond to try and win me over, writing me poetry, showering me with compliments, and offering rewards. However, others were a bit too aggressive, displaying a sense of desperation in their search for sexual gratification. I could sense their territorial nature, their relentless questions and demands leaving me feeling suffocated. I ended up meeting with a 19 boy. I was 27 by the time. I was a bit nervous as it was my first time, but he quickly got naked and took the lead. I sucked him and he fucked me. He wanked me and said he loved it. It was an interesting experience. I traveled to many different countries like Egypt and always found straight men interested in meeting me. Another time I met with a guy and after fucking me, he tried to steal my phone. I will tell you that story another day.